lot of things that have changed in our lives over the past year, and there are things that we miss. I know one of the things that I miss is going to the movies. Now, I know some people have still gone to the movies and they're like showing older movies, but I haven't been to a movie, like in a movie theater, in over a year. Now, when I used to go to the movies, the same thing would happen every single time and it always surprised me, which is kind of crazy since it always happened. But about halfway through the movie, something would mysteriously appear on my lap. It would be a snack that my husband had taken the time to provide that I really hadn't thought about. I kind of forget about the things that I need. And one of the things that I need is like food every couple of hours. I need a little snack, a little something to drink. I don't know about you, but it always made me feel loved because he was aware of what I needed and it showed that he was thinking of me when I wasn't even thinking of myself. He knows me really well. In fact, he almost always has food on him because, well, I'm around him a lot. And so he's got food ready, even though I rarely pack snacks for myself, even though I need them. I don't know if you have someone in your life like that who knows you that well, that knows what you need. Maybe you have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a spouse like that. Maybe you have a parent who's like that or even a, a coach or a teacher that just seems to know like just the right thing to say to you to make you feel better or um, provide something that you didn't even know to ask for. And it just makes you feel known. And there's something about being known that translates into being loved. Well, I wanna share a scripture that talks all about how God knows us and therefore God loves us. Our theme for this year has been that God is here. And what I wanna encourage, encourage you with today is that that God that's here knows you and loves you. So here's Psalm 139, verses one through six. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand on me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. That is kind of incredible to think that God knows our very thoughts before we think them. That's like when my husband knows I'm hungry before I've complained about it. That's how well God knows us. If you continue reading Psalm 139, and I challenge you to do that, this is a beautiful Psalm and it's got 24 verses and I only read six of them. So I challenge you to read this sometime this week. You can read it on your, on your Bible app or if you have a Bible, um, you can borrow one from somebody, but read this Psalm because it talks about when you were growing in your mother's womb, that, that God knew you then, that God put you together before you were even born. So to feel, to feel that known by God can make me feel incredibly loved. But when you think about it, it can also feel maybe a little creepy or uncomfortable to think about God knowing your very thoughts. You know, uh, several years ago, I had a student named Amy. And by the way, I asked for her permission to share this story. And she really liked this other guy, Brian, on campus. And they had been spent some time hanging out and she wasn't sure how he felt about her and vice versa. Like they didn't really know how they felt about one another. And they were spending more and more time together and they went on like a first date. The next, the next day, Amy sent a very long detailed text to her best friend on campus about the date last night because you know, her friend was like, how did it go? What happened? And she gives all these details and she talks about like, I am really falling for this guy. Like, I think I, think I love this guy. Uh, and then she realized that she sent that text to Brian, not her friend. 
and she like wanted to die. She was so embarrassed and she just felt so exposed. She felt known in a way that was uncomfortable because she hadn't really intentionally chosen to share that with Brian yet. And now he knew something about her that was really personal and intimate that she hadn't meant to share in that timing. Sometimes when we think about God knowing us, it can feel a little bit like that. Like, I don't know that I want God to really know my thoughts or understand like my, my heart, or maybe there are parts of me that I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed or ashamed about things that I think about or things that I do. And so I kind of avoid thinking about God. I kind of avoid maybe getting to know God because if I get to know God, he's going to get to know me and I don't know if he's going to like it. Well, I can assure you that scripture tells us that God already knows you. He's known you from the moment you were made in your mother's womb. And he loves you. There's nothing you can do that can make God love you less. Read Psalm 139 and see how fearfully and wonderfully made you were. How God delights in knowing you. This has especially given me comfort in this past year because I don't know about you, but I don't feel as known by other people right now. I mean, gosh, you know, most of the time we're walking around campus, we literally have a mask on covering our faces. It's hard to feel known that way. I have fewer in-person conversations with people. And a lot of it's on a screen. It's hard to feel as known on a screen. So to realize that I am intimately known by God I don't need to be embarrassed or ashamed of that. I can be honest with God because he already knows. He knows me better than anyone. And that love, knowing that not only is God here, but that he knows me and that he loves me is giving me like lifts, it lifts my spirit during this season. How I live for the moment where I'm still in your presence All the noise dies down Lord, speak to me now You have all my attention I will linger and listen I can't miss a thing Cause Lord, I know my heart wants more of you My heart wants something new so I Surrender all Cause all I want Is to live within your love Be undone by who you are My desire is to know you deeper Lord, I will open up again Throw my fears into the wind I am desperate for a touch of heaven For a touch of heaven The fire You're the fire in the morning You're the cool in the evening The breath in my soul Oh, the life in my bones There is no hesitation In your love and affection It's the sweetest of all Cause Lord, I know my heart Wants more of you My heart wants something new So I surrender all Cause all I to live within your love Be undone by who you are My desire is to know you deeper Lord, I will open up again Throw my fears into the wind I am desperate for a touch of all I want Is to live within your love be undone by who you are My 
desire is to know you deeper, Lord. I will open up again, throw my fears into the wind. I am desperate for a touch of heaven. you. And the more you know him, the more loved you will feel. That is my prayer for you as we finish this semester, socially distanced, wearing masks, but fully known and loved by God.